Hello, just another quick one. I'm just doing some embossing on the um, butterflies. Uh, warning, the heat gun will come on in a bit, so if you want to turn your sound down, I'll give you a shout before I put it on. Um, I haven't done heat embossing for years and years and years. I didn't even know if my Versamark pad was still fresh or not, but um, it is so far, so uh, that's good. I'll show you some that I've done in a second. Let me just get this one done, because he... He's had one layer of Versamark, so these are the ones that are just a little bit dull, so um, I just thought I would put uh, some embossing powder on to make them look enamel. Uh, this is a bit of a custom mix. Um, I just got, I, I, I think it's a clear one, I'm not 100% certain. It's coming up, I'll just sort of show you this one up a bit closer. So it's kind of, yeah, it is clear, but it's almost metallic-like. I don't know. I handily put them into little jars, but then handily didn't actually name them. So I've just mixed up, um, I've got a sparkly blue one, which is that one there. And then let me put the lid on, because otherwise I'll spill it everywhere. I've got one that's more like a verdigris. And then um, I, I put a little bit of a sparkly one in there, a little clear sparkly one as well. So, uh, right. Um, heat gun, so you might want to turn your sound down. I'm sorry if it's really loud. Right, heat gun's off. <laughs> okay. Yeah, nice. I say I don't know what these enamel powders are anymore. They're they're really old. So and I thought I'd put the verdigris in just to give it obviously a bit of green. So um right, just got a couple more to do and I'll give you a quick flick through. I've gone through the uh journal and I've put um sticky notes where I wanna add bits and bobs and what the bits and bobs are that I want to add so uh, basically just making some ephemera here so just get this one nicely inked up sprinkle on the custom mix you sit in this yeah you are Oops, come down a bit Quite much I enjoy embossing actually. Um, I might want to put some more colour on. Right, heat gun. Sorry guys. Just gonna make sure that you can. Can you actually see? Yeah, you can now. Right. Okay. Okay. Heat gun. just want a little bit more green on this one so bear with me let's get the lid off right heat gun It's not strictly the way you're supposed to do it, <laughs> but that's okay. Let me just show you that one. So yeah, it. I say they're looking enameled basically. So I've just got a flower and another little flower here, and then I'll give you a flick through of what I've been up to in the journal. I say I've just gone through and uh, sort of made a plan of what I want to do with it. So. got the verdigree ready again I'm gonna do that right heat gun right 
if you're quick enough you can get that you can do that and so you have to ink it up again so again see the toilet rolls are splitting here that's fine I'll put some glue under there I'll say they're obviously toilet rolls oh, I do state the obvious sometimes don't I right just do this little flower bit I don't know where the other flowers are I need to hunt them out but I'm not gonna make this go on too long uh, right It's got a little bit of colour on that, but right, heat gun. Okay. Quick up close on that one. There we are. Made them kind of all pretty and shiny. Right, so they'll be lovely. Um, these, uh, where are they? Where are you gone? Hold oh, that. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do with these because um, they've got some really pretty spots on from the um, oxides. So I might just leave those as they are. Sorry, that blinking shadow again. It's a bane of my life. It's the camera. The yeah, light bulbs up there. Right. Um, okay. So let me just pop this stuff away for a second. I'll find me flowers and do some of those as well. Let's get the lid on that, as I will knock it everywhere. Okay, need that for a second. Right, so the journal so far, like I say, I've gone through and um, decided more or less what I'm going to do with it. So it's all subject to change, of course. Right, let's make sure I'm in screen. There we are. Uh, I made a writing board out of that really hard piece of packaging um, from... Oh, a die cut, I think it was, anyway. Uh, this is going to go on the front here. Obviously, I've just got stuff paper clipped in at the moment. Nothing is stuck at the moment. So, um, now, I had a bit of a light bulb moment. Instead of using coffee dyed paper, I've got this huge wadge of Amazon packaging. So, that is it's actually going down beautifully. So, that is going to go on here as a writing page on the inside cover. I might just do a pocket or a bit of a clustery type thing here. So on the edge of this um, tuck, I'm going to put paper lace and I'm going to stitch that down. So you can see I've just gone through. So this is all going to be writing spaces, uh, paper lace stitch and flower here. Uh, again, writing page, pockets. You've seen all this, yeah. Um, that's going to be a um, side pocket. Might put some more colour on that. I might not. I might just leave it as it is because it kind of shows what it is. So nothing on there. Um, I'm gonna. I put the stencil there because I want a stencil on the background of this page. Let me just take that one off. Um, so I, that is going to be a flip out. And again, I've lined it with the brown paper, so that will flip out. It's lovely to write on that paper. I did. I did try it first, but I want to do some stencils for the butterfly there. So that's why I've put the stencil there. Just to remind myself, I say I went through post-it notes in the end because I was getting very confused. Um, paper lace, flowers, stitch, maybe a cluster here or something. I don't know. Just going to mess around with that. So that's that one. Uh, pocket here. The um, cutout butterfly. I lined it. It's going to go on the crinkly paper, and I. So that you sort of see in the butterflies, I backed it with the jiffy bag that I dyed. So I'm just going to, um, oh no, that's going to stay like that. So you could write on that if you wanted to. Actually, I might have to stick a bit of paper on there. I don't know, I'll play around with that. Um, but then I thought underneath on this crinkly paper, otherwise you're not going to have any use of it whatsoever. Um, I'd, I'd stick this on and make a writing spot. I'm going to see how that looks. I've got another piece on standby if that looks horrendous and I can swap it out. So, because I found another bit. Uh, yeah, so that's just going to be um, edged with paper lace. Another journaling spot again on the crinkly paper. A pocket here on the butterfly stained page you know where we um sprayed the things through to dye our butterflies um i'm gonna make a little scrap pad here i didn't want to hide too much of this so i'm just gonna leave that so it's just gonna be a little scrap paper thing clipped at the top there um this is gonna be a writing page once it's all stuck down it looks a lot better 
Um, so that'll be a writing page and then I'll just do some flowery clustery bits around here. Again, this is the centre of the signature. I'm just going to make that a big uh, writing spot there basically and then just decorate with the flowers and the butterflies all around it. Um, okay, so that's going to be a uh, tuck there. So paper lace and sew there. Um, this is the other side of that stuff, so I'm just going to do a paper lace edge on there. This is the flip down thing, so I've lined that with the um, brown paper too, just there. So that's going to flip down. I'll probably, I don't know, no, I probably won't do anything on there actually, because if you're going to write on it, you don't want it bumpy. But again, stenciling, you know, just to tidy the pages up a little bit. Um, on this one, I'm just maybe do some flowers and maybe a small cluster. Again, you can write on this stuff beautifully. I've done, um, I've got a mushroom bag from Tesco's. You can just see the logo through there. I'll put a, a, a thingy over that. But um, so with the cut off of this crinkly paper, made a little pocket here. And then um, to cover up the worst of the bag, I've, or to, to reinforce it actually, um, I've put a piece of the card that was the cut off of the pages on here. And I'm going to stick this. Uh, oh, I've said leave back open for a tag. I might, I might not, but I am going to stitch around this one because it's quite a, a thin paper bag. So um, I might change my mind and just stick that flat, as I say, because it is quite a thin bag. That I'm just going to leave as is. I like that. Um, this is a piece of the crinkly paper again, but I'm going to make it instead of a fabric flip, I'm going to have a crinkly paper flip. <laughs> So I'm just going to put a cluster on here um, and I've put PTO because I've got the one the other side. So I'm just going to do exactly the same. Maybe just some paper lace, just keep it quite light. Um, and those pages are fine to write on. Um, this is the um, cutouts from the flowers when I punched out the flowers. So I'm, I've backed that with the other piece of the um, jiffy bag that I've um, gessoed. And this one got sprayed, obviously. So I've backed the flowers with that. I've reinforced the top here. Um, with a bit of paper because um, you know it was all cut edges there so I'm just going to stitch that on there and that will become a pocket uh, let's try not to crease my papers up there we are um, I'm going to do this as a cluster sort of a side tuck clustery thing that's the top of that pocket and um, it was too big otherwise so um, yeah so that will just clip in there somewhere I don't know um, the packaging left over from the chocolate what were they? Oh, Twix fingers. That's the bottom of the box. So I've just made a nice white pocket there with the embossed butterflies on, which I don't know if you can see. Mm, yeah, maybe you can see. I don't know. Um, and then obviously a tag in there. And uh, again, another writing spot. A little side tuck here. I'm going to put some paper lace here and stitch that on there. I've covered the back of this flippy bit. Uh, again, more writing space. Again, paper lace, turn that into a tuck spot, might stitch it, not decided. I've put a, just a piece of paper here. I'm going to sort of decorate around that. And then you're going to have a corner pocket here. And that's it really. Um, I'm going to put some paper lace on the edge here. And I might do a butterfly clustery type thing down here. Um, yeah, and I think once that's all in, I think that's going to be... I think that's going to be enough, personally. I've got all this decoration stuff to go in. Uh, when I find the flowers, they'll go in as well. Um, I've backed that big indigo blue... Hang on. Oh, you can't really see. Yeah, the indigo blue box thing that it came in. I've left... I'm going to use this side as the writing part of the tag and then I've covered the decor you know the blue side let me just show you here okay that was the outer so I've just stuck a great big piece of that Amazon packaging down and that'll be perfect that'll front my tags and then I can decorate on top of that and cut all my tags out of that so I'm just waiting for that all well it's it's, it's dry it's near enough there I just need to cut it into tags so whew, I think that's it <laughs> I did cut the base out of the box um, because I want to make a a little, I don't know if it's going to be a booklet or a sort of a, a flippy up thing um, and just put some of that brown paper in there as, as extra writing paper and any other bits that I've got left that are uh, sort of leftovers. So, so there we are. Um, yeah, I think that's it for a minute. Um, the next bit I think is going to be the bit that takes the time because I've got to go through and, you know, do all the fancy bits. I've lost me flowers. 
Oh, there they are, hiding under there. That's me little ones, sorry. That's all me little ones. I was looking for the big ones. I, didn't, I was going to check these to see if they needed... Yeah, I might put... Yeah, that one definitely does, because that's the... I don't know, must have used... Oh, that's the toilet roll tubes. They're a darker grey cardboard. See, that one's all right. Those two are okay, so I'll put those there. And that one needs embossing. Um, I think that's about it, actually. So, yeah, that's. I just thought I'd update you, because, you know, otherwise you're going to think, hang on, when did you do that? And I wanted to show you as much as possible. So, um, yeah, that's just a quick one for you. <sighs> right, I'm going to carry on with this, and then... Um, if, I mean, if you want, I'll, I'll show you the whole process. I might make the next um, the next one because the next one would be sticking in ev sticking in everything. Um, but that could, you know, that could go on for a while. But if you don't mind a long video, just let me know, and I'll um, well, I'll probably video it anyway and just tell you at the beginning just to fast forward it if you want. So that's it for now. Thank you very much. Bye bye.